This is the One Book July 2016 update. I have my Speckle Fawn um, bifold that I've been using for the past two weeks and I've made some adjustments so I want to kind of show you. So one thing that I really love especially this month is the Coco Daisy inserts and I cheated a little bit because I got just the inserts. Well technically I got a bunch of stuff but I'm using the inserts right now for August even though it's July just because they're so absolutely beautiful. So I'll show you um, what they are. The Coco Daisy inserts have a few different things. One is the kind of uh, week at a glance. You can use this for a bunch of different things. You can do mail tracking, gratitude tracking. Um, I think you can do anything. I just haven't figured it out for myself other than making the planner look pretty and adding an extra page. I haven't really um, been using this very effectively. but. I still have it. I'm going to figure out something at some point because I think it does work really well with the whole system once you um, commit to using it. And then there is the um, week at a glance. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's undated and that's why it's, even though this is the August set, I'm using it for July because it's just so beautiful. And then there are dailies which have a schedule and a to-do list. And on the other side, uh, just a daily to-do, which has kind of a, um, a beautiful graphic here and just kind of an open graph area. And I get mine, if you notice, unpunched because depending on what I'm doing with it, I may want to actually have the punches on a, a different side than what is really supposed to happen if you get them punched ahead of time. Plus, I had a problem once with the punches, so I figured I might as well just do it myself. Anyways, okay. And just so you know, there's a beautiful graphic on the back side of the week at a glance. And another beautiful graphic there. So, and there's also another great graphic here on the back of the the week. So, that's what I'm using. And what I'm doing is based on a trial that I did with uh, DIY Fishes uh, V5 um, S3. I think so. It is five three. So, whatever that those letters are. So what they are is they have a pullout and I'll show you right now. Um, the pullout has a monthly pullout so that you would see the month on one side. You would have daily pages on the inside and I left, I just put this back in just so that you guys could see what it looks like. And then you would have the, the weekly on the other side. So maybe hard to see month on one side then you would have some daily pages on the center and then a weekly chart so I love this for the Hobonichi cousins uh, I like the weekly layout more than anything if I could I would use just the standard Hobonichi A6 if it had a weekly and I could probably just get by with that because I love that thing this is my favorite notebook of all is this Hobonichi. It just works really well, but it just, it didn't have enough um, room on a page, and then it also just didn't, because it's bound, it didn't really work really well for me. So that's actually my journal that I keep, and so that's just for daily thoughts, reflections. Since I don't have it, and the cousin was just too big for me, the pa daily pages were, it went from being too small in the A6 to too big in the cousins. And then because it was bound, I felt like I couldn't really, um, didn't allow me to move things around enough. So I love this. This version was really nice. There were only a couple of problems. Um, well, some good things too. So this one, this is the DIY fish. It comes with a monthly tracker um, or a monthly chart on the back. So that way you can keep things um, and keep track of things that way. And then on this one, this actually has two weeks attached to it because I was using the weekly tracker, not a lot, but I was trying it out. And then this is stuff that you want to track more closely that you should be doing daily. So I was trying to do something there, but it was just a lot of tracking that I didn't think was as helpful. What I really needed help with was more organizing um, days and plans. So that's what um, 
I just wasn't enough room. If you can see here, it's just, if I have lots of things, I just I can't fit it all. This day had a lot of different meetings, and it was just overlapping too much. And then if I'm double or triple booked, I can't fit everything in. Even on the other one, I'll show you. So what wound up happening was I decided this is going to look like a mess just because I tried a few different things. I decided I was going to go back to my cousins, the Hobonichi cousins, and see how I could get this in. So the way that it's working is I had tried cutting out the cousins and put it into an A5 notebook. Um, I just wasn't using that notebook and so I felt felt like I wasn't getting um, much use out of it there. So I figured, okay, uh, let me try it here. Since it has more space, I could see the time better. So I thought, let me see. The only problem is, is that the way that it's set up, because it's bound in the center, I cut the center part so the pages would be um, out. But now I have to, it's not like I can pull it out because then the next week is on the back of the other side. So what I wound up doing was just attaching them all to another piece of paper that's inserted. And then that way, when I open it up, I'll show you how it looks all together. I could see this. I still have to flip over, but at least I have enough space. So like here, even though I have like one, two, three, four things scheduled at the same time, you know, I can at least kind of see it rather than there'd be no way I could fit four things into my other schedule. So. I think that this is going to wind up being okay, and since I already bought the um, Cousins, I have it, so I might as well see if I can put it to use. I did the trial version of the um, DIY fish one, so I don't feel... I think it was a really good try for it, and if it winds up that, you know, this doesn't really add and it becomes too confusing having to flip it back and forth here I might just go back to the DIY fish um, but for a three month trial it was definitely worth the money to give it a go because I like it it's just not quite enough room so maybe I just need to not triple book myself maybe I can use it okay so now what I'm doing is and you'll see I have a bunch of these um, little packets in the center that are made up of cocoa daisy insert so let me show you what it looks like so I have a little tab on the top and it opens up and it'll open to the left and it will open up to the right and the way that this is working this is for this past week so the week of um, July 11th I have Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and in the center I have the daily page and the daily page is set up so that I have that graph paper in the center and then I can date this guy um, I do have this schedule and to-do list on the back, but for right now I don't think I need to use it because I'm really trying to prioritize my to-dos um, and just kind of going through the week. So to me, it doesn't matter. Time things will go here that have to be done, but otherwise things that I'd like to get done will either work or personal will wind up going here. And the ones that I don't do, I still have the rest of the week to finish it up. And I can see all of it at the same time. As I went through the week, I started here. And uh, if I you know, wound up um, knowing something should be done on Wednesday, I would put it over here. And then if I wound up um, having no space here, I just put another little spot up here. I wasn't too concerned about exactly what day certain things were being done. If it had to be done, I would move it up to here and say, yes, you have to do it on this day. Or at least something that'd be nice to be done on this day. I might have to migrate it, so it might wind up being similar to kind of a bullet system. Um, but for right now, I think that this is going to be... This will work out okay. Alright. So, um... I put a little tab at the top here that's just sticky with a little tab here. And then it goes to the center so I can line up and I'll show you how it works on a new set. So here is a set for the upcoming week. So again, I can open up this tab to the left, have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on that side. Ah, and then, oof, away you go. And then I have the... Um, right side Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday on the center I have the dailies and so what I can do is when I'm getting ready to um, take a look at this day so I was also trying out a color coding system um, because I do wind up having several things scheduled at the same time so I have to sometimes get coverage or I have to go in between back and forth between um, areas to make sure the coverage is 
good for a particular responsibility. So what I'll do is then I will take out, and it's kind of set here for the weekly, that it'll come out and I could go, okay, this is the 18th. Let me see what's on the 18th and then I can just verify this. If I'm looking at the whole week to say, oh, I need to do X, Y, and Z, well, I can do it, you know, here, or I can do it here because that's when I have some time available, and that way I have my week at a glance all together. Now, at the same time, so I'm going to close this up for right now, and just so you know, I have all the days in the center. The time is here, and then the specific events are here for that day and then that way I can really map out this particular day um, because even though this is I could do it you can see I'm still kind of squishing everything together um, and I think just by thinking through it I can kind of map out the time in my brain a little bit better from doing it so I'm going to close this up this goes to the center this goes over it this is just I trim off a little edge here and then I use some washi tape on the back so that it tips in and then that way um, it's nice and a neat little package for the week okay if I'm trying to find out something that is for a particular month or day in the month that I'm not sure about then I can also like before I had the DIY fish pull out but you can see it's not out far enough it doesn't flip out far enough so that I could see the whole month so the Coco Daisy inserts do come with a month layout, a month on two pages. So what I did is I just added, this is a, a different month, and on the back of the months, they have a 12-month kind of calendar, just so you can keep the date if you want to. So I put that there, attach it to one of the dividers, and then that way, when this pulls out, you can then see the whole month. So this is the month on two pages. So this is the one that's for July. Um, technically not this month, but I'm, I'm making it for July. I'm just using a previous um, month on two pages. And so this has kind of the big picture. So if I want to, I can see now the, the week here, or the week here, for to do's, for the day, and then for the month. So if I know, okay, there's something that I need to do, um, I need to fit that in, or I could say, oh my gosh, there are so many day, like full day events that are coming up, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that um, in the upcoming weeks. I need to fit it in sometime this day. So for me, it helps. Um, it does sometimes take up some space, but if I want to, if I'm just thinking, I can easily just close something up like this. And then these guys can just kind of go over and then I could look at it like here and then that way I'm, I don't have to have like everything laid out completely so there's ways to kind of tip this in and then be able to kind of look at just different sections at a time you know so this is what I've been looking at the most because once I kind of move things over to a particular um, day schedule, then all I really need to do is I'm going to take a look at, let's say, this one. So I've got like a few hours here that isn't scheduled, and so I can say, okay, I have these to-dos. I'll probably just um, try to get this, this, and this in. And then Saturday and Sunday, this is going to be my, you know, catch-up day. So I'm not going to schedule too many things here. And I'm trying to use my stickers. I tried to also highlight things. So that that way, even though I didn't have like a running to-do list, even though I have some things for um, calls, it wound up that I wasn't going back to those. I do need to see it up front to be able to really get a good idea. So like these were all emails that were in um, kind of purplish, bluish. And so I go, okay, I'm going to try to do all those at the same time. The other thing that I did in case I'm trying to do this is I have um, a freely section, which will wind up probably taking up uh, or being that will probably hold all the miscellaneous to-dos, but right now it folds out completely like this. And so I have to-dos here, to-dos here, that are all in different categories, maybe a project here. So I may have a kind of a pull-out that's projects, a pull-out that's specific to-dos listed by category. Um, we shall see. 